Jays. Bottom third, one O Jays. Scott Shields facing Vernon Wells with the man on it. Wells, a little base knock there. Shannon Stewart will score. Blue Jays lead 2 nothing, but Wells, he was just getting started. Top four, same score. Tim Salmon. And there's a little big guy. That 19 game hitting streak is now 20. Not bad. Bottom seven, 2 1 Blue Jays. Ben Weber. Bases loaded for Wells. Gotta have the money ball. Wells, second grand slam this season. We'll take another look. Wells, a laser. How about this for a game? Four for four, five RBIs. Jays win at 7 1. Good day to be Vernon Wells. Kind of wish I was, but. The Detroit way. You just know it's gonna go bad. Top five, two outs. Devil Rays up three, one. Aubrey Huff. Two out hits are the key to getting into heaven. Devil Rays up five, one. His second of the game. It's seventh of the year. Bottom eight, two outs, two on. Tigers down six, three. When Craig Monroe a three-run pop at Spacious Comerica, tied at six. Monroe second homer of the year. Oh, I feel a good vibe. No, I don't. Who am I kidding? Top ten. There's Damian Easley, pinch hitting for Al Martin, and that's deep to right. And Bobby Higginson is going, going, going. Has it now? He doesn't have. George Lombard will score. Devil Rays are up 7-6. Hey, and don't forget to send my paycheck, because that $14 million will spend nice. Poor Egginson. Had it in the... Well, guess what? Devil Rays win 8-6. Tigers have now lost every game sans three. Royals and Orioles at Oriole Park. That's Sidney Ponsona's first start since he was knighted in his native Aruba. And it was a pretty good one. Top six, he gets Desi Relifer, then rings up Mike Sweeney. And Mendy Lopez. Sir Sidney, one run in eight innings. He struck out nine. Jeff Conine leading off the Baltimore six. Solo shot off Elvis Hernandez, who had an American League best 1.36 ERA coming in. Conine's third makes it 4-1. Bottom seven now, it's Melvin Mora, and this is a little low. Maybe Tony Pena getting into it with Andy Fletcher from the dugout, and Fletcher oh. runs him. You're supposed to leave, not come out onto the field. Same at bat now, and after these guys finish, get another tight one. Fletcher squeezing him a little bit. Hernandez wanted it. He allowed four runs on seven hits and seven. The Orioles win 6-1. I'm watching you. The Orioles, the first team this season to score more than three runs against Rinaldis Hernandez. He didn't take it. Right. Rockies, Cubs at Wrigley first inning. One Carlos ball. Zambrano plunks oh. Jay Payton in the left arm, but Zambrano would get out of the first inning without any damage. Payton's next at bat. 3-0 comes in the third. He knocks one off Zambrano's throwing hand. Payton safe at first. Zambrano's index finger hurting, but he would stay in the game. Bottom four, he's leading off the inning. Coming up there with that bum finger. To center, Preston Wilson can't see it. It's over your head! Yeah. First career home run for the pitcher. Gives Chicago a 4-3 lead. Third home run by the Cubs pitcher this year already. Top eight, Kyle Farnsworth facing Mike Sweeney. Moises Salou giving chase. Here comes a fan. Fan interference not called because the catch was not considered routine. That is the correct call by the umpires. Still tied the eighth, Wilson. Oh, Two-run shot is six. The Rockies come back to win in the eighth inning. 6-4. The Birds won the last handful. Bottom third. Game tied at one. Claudio Vargas facing Albert Pujols. <laughs> That's heading to the stadium club. He's carrying the bat with him. He had bad intentions. Two-run homer. Measured up at 452 feet. Guy's hitting 388. And his average actually went down because he was one for three. There you see his sixth home run of the year. Large crank. Next batter, Jim Edmonds, came in hitting 400. Bring him up for a two for four. And now batting a cool 405 to lead the National League. What a play by Vladimir Guerrero in right. He takes the hitter box and here's Orlando. Apparently that was J.D. Drew. This just in. Yeah, well, that was good for him. We move on. <laughs> Popped up by the infield. I'll take that. Thanks. That was Garrett Steverson looking nervous, but getting the win. You know what I mean. 3 1 cards win. Pedro dazzling the twins at Fenway. Top two. He rings up Todd Sears. Pedro struck out the side in a second. Top three. Put that K up there. Jock Jones swinging at a breaking ball. Martinez five Ks through three. Top five. Pedro working quickly. First pitch to Bobby Kelty. That's a fly out to right field. And Todd Sears is the next batter. He will look at strike one. Second pitch. Going to take a hack. 
Third pitch, strike three. Four pitches, two outs for Martinez with that bullpen by committee deal. He's got to be economical like that. Next batter, Dustin Moore. 22 total pitches for Pedro in the fifth, sixth, and seventh innings. Bottom six, 6-1 six Sox. They are loaded for former twin David Ortiz to right. All three runs are going to score, and it is 9-1 Boston. Meanwhile, Pedro is trying to finish uh, his first nine-inning complete game since August of 2000. Top nine, two outs. He brings up Matthew Lecroy. Red Sox win 9-1. Pedro, the five-hitter. No walks, 12 Ks, a season high. He threw only 95 pitches. Athletics and the Yankees, top two, no score. Eric Burns off Jeff Weaver. It's behind the plate. Wrong way to be a home run. There's Jorge Posada, makes the nice catch. Saves his starter now. One more time. There you go. Well done. Top four still scoreless. Ramon Hernandez. Hideki Arabu going to go out there and get it. Eric Almonte going to relay and poor Miguel Tejada. He's hitting a buck 67, and even when he's on base, he's in trouble. You are way, way out. Still zip, zip. So let's go to the ninth. Yanks down 3-1. Man on second for Jason Giambi. Keyful. Oh, no doubt. Hey, if you're going to hit your first homer of the season at home, hit a good one. Off the facade of the upper deck. Game tied at 3. Sixth for G. First in six games. So we go to extras in the top ten. Man on second, Eric Chavez. Juan Acevedo delivers, and Chavez crushing. That's into the people. 5-3 A's, Chavez seventh of the season. So we go bottom nine, man on second, Giambi on deck. Nick Johnson up with two outs. Keep the rally alive. He gets good wood. Chris Singleton gets in trouble with the sun, but recovers to grab it. Folks upset, blown save, but he did manage to vulture the win in the A's. Take it by a count of 5-3. As for Oakland starter, Tim Hudson gets another no decision. It's only 2-1, and one, but the A's are 6-1 and one as a team when he's on the bump. Hudson now has four no decisions in his first seven starts of the year. This after only 10 no decisions in all of 2000. And we go top six, a couple of runners in scoring position for Ruben Sierra. High chopper, look at Casey Blake, bare hand, and got it. Love the good defense. Indians hanging on to a 5-4 lead. But Alex Rodriguez with two outs, that is fair. Mike Young's going to score. The former driller, Hank Blaylock, will follow. A-Rod, two for four, a couple RBIs, and the Rangers are leading 6-5. Bottom seven now, runners on the corner, one out for Shane Spencer. Feel the drama building. Michael Shane Spencer, you get in this house right now. Grounds into a 5-4-3 double play. Rangers hold on to win it, 6-5. Mets and Brew crew at Miller Park. Mo Vaughn went on the 15-day DL inflammation in his left knee. He's got three homers and five errors this year. Top eight, Mets have two on, nobody out. Mike Piazza hits into one of his two double plays in the game. Next guy, it's Cliff Floyd. Ooh. And the Mets strand a guy on third in a one-run game. Top nine, they're loaded. Raul Gonzalez to third. Wes Helms coming home. Eddie Perez, the 5-2-3. The broker win 3-2. Milwaukee snaps a six-game losing streak. Mets have lost six of seven. Already having umpire issues. Marcus Giles, is this a check swing or not? Ted Barnett says no. Bob Brindley in the dugout doesn't agree. One plate on C.B. Buckner giving Brindley a piece of his mind. Next up, it's Chipper Jones with a full count. Outside corner, doesn't get the call. Schilling not happy. Brindley out there again working this pitcher. Get in there! Brindley proceeds to throw a bucket onto the field. Get your money's worth, that's what I say. You know, just pull, start throwing stuff out there. And there is said bucket. Bottom seven, Kevin Grabowski on a pitch, Braves up 6-5, wearing an ace bandage on his glove after getting uh, struck by a ball. Bottom seven, Rod Barajas with a single to right. You know, we got to check that bandage on Grabowski because he's already pitched to three hitters, forced out of the game. In comes Jung Bong. He's got a bandage, can't pitch with a bandage. He's got to come out. Got him at first and second. So they got hits off the guy. They still want him out. Yeah. Apparently the bandage wasn't bothering them until after. Bottom seven, Matt Williams, Dave DeLucci in that little box. They'll wave him. And we are tied at six. Next batter, it's uh, Quentin McCracken. And he comes up with a big hit. Drops in a right. Rod Baraja scores. And the D-backs win the game 7-6. 
Bell bottom one, Paul Wilson, Barry Bonds. Shallow right. Ryan Friel and Jose Guillen have got this thing surrounded. Lee. Bonds, 1500th hit as a giant. Next up, it's Jose Cruz Jr. Deep right center. Doesn't have enough. It's going to short hop the wall. Bonds scores. Ray Durham scores. Cruz Jr. in there for three. As Wilson is whacked for eight earned on nine hits and three and two third. It's two nothing San Fran. I feel like a flashback. 2001 season. Foul ball down the first baseline at Pac Bell. 74 year old ball man Dick Gregory fields it cleanly. Nice job. Let's get back to Saturday. They got Gregory this year working the third baseline. He's focused. Andres Galarraga. El Gato Grande. Gregory. Look at this. Oh! Does not stick the landing. Another look. Gregory. Well, apparently he can't go to his left. That's the problem. He's all right, though. Nice effort. Three pitches later. Galarraga. Two-run shot is second. Galarraga seven for nine with runners in scoring position this season. But let's get back to our ball man, Gregory. Ninth inning, Felipe Lopez foul. Gregory cleanly fields it. Oh, nice job. And he gets congratulations from Benito Santiago, who's also 74 years old. 9-6, Giants win. Kidding about that. Marlins and Astros in Houston. Former President Bush and Barbara at the game. Bottom one are loader. Justin Wayne hits Lance Berkman. Jeff Blum scores. And it's 2 0 Astros. Look at Barbara. She's scoring the game. She scores these games. That's terrific. She should eBay that thing. Next batter, Wayne walks for Chidalgo on four pitches. 3 0 Houston. Justin Wayne pulled after 22 pitches. Four of them were strikes. He did not retire a batter. I don't know how you score that. They're loaded in the seventh. Pete Monroe gets punched to ground into the 4 6 3. And Barbara's writing that down. 4 6 3. Astros win 5 2. Derek Lee's two solo shots, the only Florida runs. Phillies and Padres. Now, the Phillies winless on Friday nights this season, undefeated on Saturdays. It was Dave Winfield bobblehead doll night. Now, that was the actual size guy in the retro Padre uniform. Top eight, Phillies leading at 2-1. Mike Lieberthal, that'll get down by everybody out there. Mark Kotze was the one giving the effort. Two-run score. Phillies lead 4-1. Now you just got to hold it. Turk Wendell, Padres down 4-2. Rondell White hard to third. David Bell stroke pulls Jim Tomei off the bag. White safe, a runner scores. Padres down one. Next batter, Ramon Vasquez at the plate. And Turk Wendell pulls off the old third. Throw to first. That never works, but they get walked lately. There you go, you're out of the run. All right, save a bat for Vasquez now. Two outs, hard at Jimmy Rollins, who makes a great stop. The pick, the throw. Not in time, the tie run scores. We're knotted at four, we're going to extras. David Bell, a sack fly in the 10th to give the Phils a 5-4 lead, and Jose Mesa blew the save on Friday, has a perfect 10th for the eighth save of the season there. Brian Buchanan flying out to Tomas Perez. Phils win it. 5-4 in one extra frame. Trip top first. Randall Simon against Darren Dreifert. They shoot it the other way. That's a good start. Kenny Lofton will come around to score. It's one nothing in favor of the Buckos. Home half of the first, though. Freddie McGriff up. One on, two out facing Jeff Supon, and that's going to be a single to right field, scoring Sean Green, and we are all even, tied at one. 13th rib of the year for the crime dog. Jump to the fifth. Paul LaDuca. Dave Roberts at second. No more. Single. LaDuca, one of the top four in the Dodger order. They combine to go eight for 16, four RBIs. Dodgers go up 2-1. LaDuca, he'll just go ahead and take second on that throw. Bottom seven. LaDuca one more time. This time, the pitcher is Brian Meadows. Matt Stairs, though, going to hustle and get to that one. Oh, nice weather there, huh? A couple outs in the seventh. Your next batter, Sean Green, facing Denny Reyes. And <laughs> Well, I'm not sure anybody on the Parks is going to be able to get that. No, that's pretty much a home run. Fourth year, 4-1 Dodgers, and now Eric Gagne in to close it out. Top nine, two outs, going for the ninth save. 94 mile an hour to Abraham Nunez. Fouls that off, and after a second one, all the oh, 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 oh. 70 miles an hour. Just soft stuff. Dodgers win it 4-1. They like to call that a Wakefield. Mariners pounding the White Sox in Chicago. Josh Stewart versus Willie Bloomquist in the first. Comebacker knocked down. Stewart the first gets the out. We flash back to April 24th when Stewart was drilled by Jeff Conine and he would spit up blood after the game. We'll not show you that. Two batters later, back on Saturday, Mike Cameron. Let Mike Cameron go. His fourth, second home run in two days. 3-0 Mariners. Cameron coming off a 3-for-3 three three game with two walks on Friday. Second inning, they're loaded for guess who? Cameron to right. Brian Dawbox out there.
happen by committee? I don't know. Bad angle, Jeff Cirillo, Bloomquist, Brett Boone, they all score. Cameron two for four with six RBIs. In the last three years at Chicago, Mike Cameron is hitting 408. <laughs> Seattle has won 15 of 20.